Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman. I'm your GPR professor from LearnGPR.com and I'm here actually, I have a layover in Seoul, South Korea, <coughs> uh, in Asia for some stuff going on. And while I was sitting here, I just figured I'd kind of record a video or two, um, maybe bring some value to some people. Anyway, the reason for this video or the topic of this video is uh, you need to justify the use of the GPR in your deliverables. Okay, so in your reporting, when you do GPR or any other, use any other technology for that matter, doesn't matter, you use ultrasonic pulse echo, you use magnetometer, you use earth resistance, you use LIDAR, whatever you're doing, in your contracts, in your deliverables, you need to justify why you're using it. <clears throat> this is a powerful point here, and it really gets back down to liability. So, here's this little story. Is um, by the way, you see this? You like my new? I got my new Learn GPR shirt. I like it. Um, is I was called in for a legal project recently to, to review. There's a legal case, and and there was some uh, uh, engineering. Uh, testing that was conducted on this concrete slab and uh, I was asked to review the quality of the work um, which had its own issues but in the reporting of their work there was no justification for using GPR. Now the work was supposed to revolve around identifying or evaluating the condition of this uh, concrete slab and two things they were looking for. One was voids or delaminations and I'll, I'll go into that in another video about the problems. Um, with that part of it. But the other piece that they were looking for was, was uh, moisture content and, um, and uh, uh, corrosion. Okay, so they were supposed to find moisture or corrosion, if it was there, uh, in the slab. GPR can be used to evaluate these, but it probably or usually isn't considered kind of the number one technique to use um, in evaluating uh, corrosion. Okay, there are other tools, acoustics and other things that are often used to evaluate corrosion in concrete slabs. Now, GPR is not a bad tool for it, but it's not generally the number one go-to technique. Um, so why would it be justifiable to use GPR? The justification would be that it's a quick evaluation and assessment, probably the most efficient um, compared to all the other tools that are out there. You can easily turn it on, run it across the slab, and evaluate if there's kind of some responses that are consistent with our expectations of corrosion. And if there are, take other tools in and do a more detailed analysis. These folks didn't do it. And we were able to say to them that you didn't justify the use of it. They obviously didn't really know how GPR worked that well because, you know, by going into the justification, look, GPR works on velocity. We would expect a slowdown in corroded infected concrete. Uh, we would expect um, corroded steel rebar would have uh, smaller amounts of actual steel in it which would produce a lower uh, amplitude you know there's a whole series of things you can do to show the deductive approach to evaluating corrosion using gpr and then the justification would be that it's a super quick technique to use it's kind of first line of defense right it's the evaluation tool uh, they didn't do it and so the point is justify the reason i'm bringing this up now i actually did this a little while ago when I was called in on this on this legal case, was I was just writing a report the other day before I left for here, and um, you can see I'm a little bit scruffy. Just had a two flights so far. I have my third flight coming up. Um, been on the plane for like 15 hours already, and so um, I was writing up a report about locating graves, and in the report, in the section about the technique GPR, there's a paragraph that starts with ground penetrating radar is a successful and proven technique for locating and mapping graves. And then I put 12 citations in there. And then I say, um, you know, it's been shown that GPR can find caskets, can find uh, um, grave shafts, it can find metal caskets, wooden caskets, deteriorated graves, void spaces left from uh, uh, decayed bodies. You know, I, I just, I justify it. So there's no question about it that when it comes back to me, if they say, well, why'd you use GPR? Well, it's really clear, just refer back to the report. So. I encourage you to justify the techniques that you use in your contracts, in the reports that you produce, in the deliverables that you produce. Uh, it's good practice. It doesn't take long to do it, but it really helps you communicate to your customer why you did something, and it helps kind of protect yourself on the back end if something ever comes back to you. So 
I hope this was helpful. I hope it was valuable. Please share it around if you know somebody else. Um, like the page or subscribe to the channel and uh, go to learngpr.com. Put your name and email address in. Get our free introductory uh, video course. And, uh, and then we'll also send you videos like this every single week. So appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll, I'll talk with you soon.